We are at the National Quartet Convention. I am here with the Men of Music, and uh, we already are good friends with uh, Greg Colburn and Rodney Tyson, and Greg, welcome. Ken, thank you so much. It's an honor to be back with you again this year. Thanks Rodney, for having me. Good Ken. to see you thank again. Thank you, man. Hey, and since now we, we saw have you one. Like, yeah. <laughs> there he is, right there. <laughs> yep. New I'll guy, new guy. Tyler Hudson. I got his name right. Yes, you did. Yeah. You did. <laughs> Tyler's our new tenor singer. He's a, we had a personnel change, and Tyler's on board. He's been with us two and a half weeks now, Ken, and his knees still knock like a set of drums when he goes on yes. stage. So. <laughs> but he's going to get all right. He'll be fine. So. Now, just uh, as, a, as a little introduction, this is actually the, the second run of the Men of Music. Is that right? That is T correct. Tell me that. The Men of Music actually originated in 1996 in Austin, Texas. Um, a gentleman who had always had a dream of having a Southern Gospel Quartet by the name of Cleon Yates actually gave birth to the Men of Music back there. And after a few years, uh, Cleon, he had some health issues. The doctors recommended he come off the road. So he did. And uh, his current bass singer at that time was Mike Bullock. So he turned the reins of the group over to Mike Bullock, and Mike moved the group to Mobile, Alabama. And after a few years in Mobile, Alabama, Mike's wife, as many, many people will know, uh, she was diagnosed with multiple myeloma bone cancer. And so Mike actually bought the group off the road, and after a three-year absence from the road, Mike turned the reins over to me, and we've actually been back on the road now officially for a year right here at Quartet Convention. So, and God is doing some great things, Ken. It's unbelievable what's going on. Tyler, how did you get involved with these guys? Very Actually, careful. I, <laughs> very carefully, yes. Uh, I traveled with a regional group called Southern Image based out of Tupelo, Mississippi for the, the last four years of my college time. And uh, I graduated in May, and Rodney's parents live in Florence, where I'm from. And a friend of mine put me in touch with his parents, said, hey, these guys are looking for a tenor. Called Rodney, called Greg, and auditioned, and it just kind of went from there. The rest is history. Right. <laughs> now, you guys have had... Um, You've, you've been recording, got yes. a recording ready, ready to be released, I guess. Well, we, Ken, we, it's, it's funny. We have a recording that we've started. We've had some people that have approached us about doing a, a hymns project, and they said, let's do it like people did it 50, 60 years ago. Well, of course, I'm not that old, so I had to ask, okay, how did we do it 50, 60 years ago? Hush, guys. <laughs> They try to convince people that I helped change Moses' diaper, and I did, and I'm not that old, okay? <laughs> but anyway, uh, so we decided to do a hymns project with just piano and voices. So we finished one song. The engineers have sent it back for us to take a listen to and just to see if it was kind of the flow that we were looking for. And uh, so we sent it to some peers just to get their feedback on it, and they're like, yeah, we like this. So, uh, and there's been some pretty incredible things that have happened with that song, and we haven't even released it to radio yet. So, uh, I, I'm not sure if you, soundclick.com, it's a new charting, internet charting uh, uh, site, and they chart all genres of music, and they have over 4.2 million subscribers. Our song, How Beautiful Heaven Must Be, debuted on the country music chart out of 51,000 plus songs. We debuted in the number 53 spot and we didn't even know it was there. And then on the country gospel charts, we debuted at number 21. Over the next two weeks after the debuts, we actually took over the number three spot on the Christian country and we took over the number six spot on the country charts. And the only way I can explain how all that happened is God did it. I have no other explanation for it. It had to be God because we didn't even release it. So it's, it's kind of exciting just to sit back and watch God work. Yeah, we can accept that. Rodney, how did you get involved uh, with uh, Greg and the group? Well, actually, uh, I sing with the group back in the uh, early 90s. And um, when I came off the road, uh, I saw that, uh, that they were looking for a lead singer. So uh, I had met Greg one time before in Indiana uh, when he sang with another group. and. Um, we somewhat remembered each other, and uh, I guess that meeting was for a purpose back then. So, uh, went down and auditioned with the guys, and uh, we hit it off, and the rest was history, too. Just for yeah. the record, I hired him on the spot, okay? <laughs> no questions asked. He had the job. So, Rodney's an incredible lead singer, and Tyler's an incredible tenor vocalist, and uh, we're excited about what God's doing with this group through these guys. It's, it's going to be a great ride. And of course, uh, since, since we, we've met you guys before we uh, you know we, we feel we we know you sure. uh, there's another element besides just finding a singer if you're gonna travel on the road all Absolutely. the time right? yeah when you you know 
you can have the greatest singer in the world, but if you've got someone that doesn't have the personality, they don't enjoy traveling, uh, they're not there for the right reasons, and, and our reasons is ministry. Uh, in the last year, we've seen well over 100 people come to the Lord through services that we've been involved in, not because of anything that we did, don't misunderstand that, but because we're obedient to the Spirit of the Lord and we allow the Lord to work in our services. And um, so there, there's a personality issue. Let's face it, folks, when you got three, three or four people or a whole quartet and a full band or whatever, and you're living on a 40-foot or a 45-foot motor coach, you better pretty much love what you're doing or there's <laughs> issues to deal with. <laughs> yeah, that's true. A lot easier ways uh, to get absolutely, around. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Men of Music website. Uh, www.themenofmusic.com. And uh, if anybody out there would like to contact us, all of our contact information is there, our email address, our office phone numbers, um, my cell phone number is even there. So if we're on the road, which we are quite frequently, if somebody needs to contact us, they can mm -hmm. feel free to contact us through that. In fact, uh, our song, How Beautiful Heaven Must Be, if they'll go to that website, they can listen to it right there. So. All right. Well, to all the men of music, thank you very much for thank talking you for to us. Me. Ken, thank you. thank you so much for having us again this year, and uh, we wish you and all the guys here uh, a great day and enjoy Quartet Convention. It's going to be a you. great week. Thank you for what yes. you do for us. Please. Thank you, because without people like you, people like us wouldn't have a job, okay? So <laughs> thank you so much for what you do. There's more coming up on Gospel Music Today.